Hello everyone, good evening and thank you all for subscribing my channel at first place. This is a small announcement on the new AWS batch which I'm starting from 15th of May and the timing is morning 8.30 to 10 o'clock. So it's going to be one and a half hour session and initial few demo sessions are free. You can join the free demo sessions by simply clicking this link mentioned over here, right? So on the demo day from starting from sorry, starting from 15th of May and demo free initial three demos are free. You can utilize this time and see the program will really help you for growing into a cloud arena. And let me quickly share the course details related to the same. So the training program will be of two months. Okay, and Monday to Saturday and Sunday break. As I mentioned, the prerequisite is either Windows or Linux administration skills will really help you to understand the cloud infrastructure well and any sort of a other cloud experience like Azure or CCP or anything else will be a value add for this program. And fee, as I mentioned, is going to be 15,000. And if you go with the two installments, and it's going to be 13,000 if you go with the single installments, you will get 2,000 discount. So you can join the WhatsApp group to collaborate with the other uh, students which are part of this training. And yeah, any questions or queries, we can post it over here on this group. And I have also uh, I have mentioned a few demos over here in my blog. Also in the video description, you have the links to watch the free demos within the same channel, so you can press it. And all these details are uploaded in the video description. You can uh, simply watch it and then uh, click on the link to join the demos. Okay, so let me quickly share the course content. And this training program basically covers the SysOps and Architect Associate. We'll not be able to cover off the professional uh, architect professional certification program that requires an adequate experience experience on, on the on-premise as well as the implementations and to end solution designing and stuff that we would, we couldn't cover over here in this training program. Uh, and let me quickly share the content briefly what I'm planning to cover off. So I'll go with the high level. So uh, we will try and discuss the basic cloud infrastructure, how it is and what it is and how the data centers are set up and what are the regions and availability zones and IP address schema and this and uh, this in on-premise as well as in AWS cloud, how it is uh, how it is deployed. So that is something we will discuss at the very basic level. Then we will focus on networking side of the AWS. You see the AWS services mentioned over here, the vast, vast AWS services you have listed over here, right? We will try to test these components in the initial days, and then we'll talk about compute and then high availability scaling, and then day-to-day -day operations using systems manager and other tools. Then we'll talk about past storage like S3, Glacier, FSX, ES, uh, EFS, and then storage gateway and other stuff. Then we'll talk about past databases. Then when I say past data Databases, your RDS that includes SQL, MySQL, Postgres, and then uh, your uh, Oracle databases and stuff, or maybe inbuilt Aurora DB, right? And then when it comes to NoSQL, you have uh, Dynamo, Document, and then uh, other in-memory in databases like uh, Elastic Cache and Redis and stuff that we want to discuss in this past database uh, section. Then we move on to monitoring, reporting, troubleshooting, and the day-to-day -day operations. So we'll use a couple of services like CloudWatch, Cloud Country, Cloud Trail, Guard Duty, and other stuff to manage your day-to-day -day operations in terms of troubleshooting, in terms of reporting, how you want to do using the services that we will see over here. Then we'll focus on security side of the AWS. Here we'll talk about identity will talk about the directory services and how you can synchronize these directory services with AWS and then your KMS and uh, Cloud HSM, WAF and certificate manager and other other stuff that we will try and discuss over here and do some hands-on related to the same when it comes to security standpoint. Then we will focus on the microservice solution designing and uh, when it comes to microservice solution designing, we'll focus on Docker, we'll focus on EKS, Elastic Kubernetes Service within the AWS, and we'll try to test it out. And then we'll talk about migration services, how we can use the migration services to migrate the on-premise infrastructure to AWS. We can be a server, an application, or a database. How are you going to migrate? That we will focus here. And then we'll talk about developer tools. When I say developer tools, what all the CACD and tools that you're using in built in-house AWS services, like code commit, code build, and uh, your uh, code deploy. 
okay so and uh, it's interrelated service like your github or GitOps, and then you have your azure devops and other stuff right so we'll give you some insights on how these cacd operations will work that we will focus here then we'll talk about automation when i say automation there are various infrastructure service uh, infrastructure as a core services that are being used uh, extensively nowadays one is you call cloud formation so there's a native aws service and then you have a third party service called uh, terraform or uh, other services that we will try uh, terraform for uh, your infrastructure deployment and pack up for your uh, AMI creations and stuff that we will see from the automation standpoint. Now, once it is done, we will focus on the day to day operations and then uh, how the customer environment looks like, what all the real time scenarios that you will. Uh, keep you have to keep in mind and then uh, if you are working in a new project how the project execution works in terms of uh, in, in terms of executing the AWS uh, the support project as well as the migration project now we'll see how the current job market is and then how you can prepare for yourself for interview and practice what are the things that we need to keep in mind when you're practicing AWS that we will discuss overall in this training program so this overall program will take at least two months to complete starting from may 15 i'm expecting by july th month end or july 15th we'll be able to finish it off so uh this program is going to start from 15th of may and i'll see you on the demo day thank you guys and good day